What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Josie, and today I will be doing the sneaker collection video. Some of these shoes I had in my collection for quite some while, but they're still part of my collection. They're still my babies, so I will still be showing them. Let's get right into the video. First pair is the Yeezy Foam Posits. Had these since 2015, I believe. I only have these in my collection still because they glow in the dark. Will not be getting rid of them anytime soon. I have some Vans. Some of my shoes, I don't know the name of them, but it's okay. I have some Vans. I don't really wear Vans, but my girlfriend does, so we share shoes. I have some Tims. Never wore these, maybe once but I just like the color of them. Probably won't get rid of these either. Next pair of shoes, I have two pairs of Metallic Fives. I have the older version and the newer version. Can't go wrong with two pairs. You know, had these since 10th mm, grade, I believe, and I just got these recently. Will not be getting rid of these either. Next, I have some colorful vans you know bought these for my girlfriend but we share them so they're part of my collection too don't really have anything to go with these so probably won't ever wear them can't go wrong with a pair of the classic van old school vans you know just the black and white ones got bleach on them at work so I don't wear them really um I have the metallic five low tops I like these shoes, I just don't know why. And I got pink stuff on them, so probably won't wear them ever again. Next pair are my, my ones. I love ones, but I just don't like how they crease. And these are my favorite ones. Had these for almost two years now, or a year, I forget. Next pair are my black and yellow 13s. Don't really like yellow. Don't know why I got them. Just to match my one champion shirt, but hey. Can't go wrong with every color shoe. I have, I forget what these are called, but this is my favorite color, blue. And blue and white, can't go wrong. So, bought my girlfriend a pair, so I had to buy myself a pair. Only had these for how long? I think two weeks, a week? Mm -hmm. Yeah, still in good condition. Next, I have some Prestos. Don't know why I bought these. They're just really comfortable. I don't know why. Pink and red together doesn't really go well in purple. I just like how comfortable they are. Have the Chrome 8s. Bought these when I bought the second pair of Metallic 5s. And haven't worn these yet. Don't know why I bought them. They're too small. Um, next pair are my white infrared sixes. Don't have shoelaces. Been trying to clean them. I always wanted a pair because I have the black ones. So I really recently just got these just to go with the black ones. Don't really see me myself wearing them. I forget what these are called, but the clown faces on them glow in the dark. And I think that's the best part but like red and orange don't go well either. So I think these are just gonna sit in my collection just because they're rare. I have some Air Maxes, haven't worn these, but I got them as a gift. I will be wearing them soon, probably in the summertime. Just don't know when. I have some New Balances. Now you gotta have a mixture of everything in your collection. Got these for my 17th birthday for my mother. Shout out to you, mom. They were really comfortable at first until I just started growing my sneaker collection and just stopped wearing them. Next, I have my Great Fox. These are kind of beat. Had these since I think about 10th grade. I only have them in my collection because I'm still waiting for the white ones. But I don't see myself wearing these because I beat them up. They're not that bad, but they're beat. Next I have, I 
forget what these 11s are called. I wanted these when these first came out and never got them. And then I finally got them and then I wore them and now they're beat. I just like how they're sparkly and with the gold, it just pops out. But I wear these all the time still. Next I have, don't know what these are called, but got these as a gift for my, I think, 19th birthday. And they're a size seven, so they're two sizes smaller than I actually am. So I don't really wear them, and plus the leather, I don't like how it makes my feet sweat. But I just like them, how they're tan. I don't know what's wrong with some tan shoes. Next, I have my, I think they're called the Bordox 3s. I recently just got these, and I think these are my favorite 3s now. I don't know. I just like burgundy on shoes. I have a lot of burgundy shoes. But these won't be getting on my collection either. Next are my In Front Red Low 11s. I always wanted these, but now that I got them, don't really want them. But I mean, my girlfriend wears them, so I guess it's all right. I think when they first came out, I wanted them, and then I never wanted them again. Let's see. Here goes another, um, I think these are the Bordox ones. I got these, I forget, three years ago. I was at work and I saw them and I was just like, oh, I need these. And then I bought them and then wore them in the rain and then they got stained and then never wanted to wear them again. But they're really comfortable. Like I said before, ones are my favorite shoes. Ones are one of my favorite shoes. We got the pink snakeskin low 11s. I recently just got these in my collection too. I don't really know why. I just like the snakeskin part, but I don't wear pink, so I don't know why I got them. But I mean, I'll find an outfit in the summertime to wear them with. I wanted the aqua 11 snakeskins, I think that's what they're called. And I never got my hands on those. Next, I have these Hirachis. Have yet to wear these. Got them for me and my girlfriend. But I do see myself wearing these in the summertime. I just don't like how the tan is on the bottom. Like they should have just kept it all white or something. Or maybe put the green on the bottom. I don't know. It's just a bright shoe for the summer. Next, we have the olive green 12s. My girlfriend actually bought me these. Shout out to my girlfriend. You know, I like 12s too. And I always wanted these. But now that I got them, I'm just scared to damage them because of the material. So I don't really wear these. But I like these. Next, we have another pair of my favorites. We have the infrared sixes. You know, can't go wrong with these. Um, these are the 2019 release. I don't know. I was just at Sneaker Villa and was like, "Hey, I'm gonna buy them," and I don't really wear them because of the way they creased. So they can get real dirty, and I don't feel like cleaning them. So they're just gonna sit in my, my collection now. Next, we have the Hot Punch 4s. That's what I call them. These are one of my favorite shoes of summer. Like, can't go wrong. Just all white in these. I mean, I don't know. Got these last, I got these when I got the infrared sixes. But these are one of my favorites too, out of my collection. I don't know what these are called. They're just the Air Max 72, I mean the 720s or whatever they're called. 
got these for me my girlfriend both share them don't really wear them because the bubble like it just squeezes in i don't know i don't really like the bubble but they're a decent shoe they're real comfortable though can't go wrong with all black pair of shoes next we have the chrome sixes lows sixes lows what chrome six lows um got these when i got the snake skins and all the other ones i said i recently just got um i don't know i like sixes a six, sixes are another favorite of my numbers and can't go wrong with the all black parachutes Next, we have the Oreo 5s. I remember when I first had a pair, I beat them up. And then I recently just got these when I got the last pair and the last few pair. So now that I actually got them with my hand in a better condition, I actually like them. Like, it's just a black and white shoe that can go with anything. We have the bread 13s. I honestly don't know why I got these. When I first got them, I wore them like every day. And then now they sit under my bed collecting dust. I mean, I honestly don't know why I got them. I might just sell them or I might sit in my collection. We have the Legend Blue 11s. I always want my hands on these. I don't know why. Probably because of the infrared situation, you know. If you have these, you have to have the Gamma 11s. You know, they're just a set pair. And I got these and then I got the Gamma 11s back. So, I don't know. I just don't really like the blue bottom I don't know now that I actually have them in hands I just don't like them anymore we have the Nike I forget what these are called I think the um, um tempos or something I forget I like these only because of the reflection but other than that I don't like them because of how bulky they are like they just make my feet real heavy so they'll probably just sit in my collection and I mean I have a jacket that reflects so they go well with them but I just won't wear them probably next we have the cement fours I beat these up had these since like ninth grade wore them every single day because my uniform was tan and I had to wear a gray polo so I wore these every day and messed them up. So I might just keep these in my collection and then get another pair and not beat them up. I don't know, but these were one of my favorite shoes at first, but as I grew my collection, I just don't care no more. Next we have the Gatorade Sixes. I honestly don't like orange on a shoe personally, but me being a sports person and always drinking Gatorade, that's probably one of the reasons why I got it. And I don't wear them for another reason. I'm not gonna say on camera because it's personal, but I don't wear these. Just having my collection just because they're Gatorades. Next, we have some men Ugg slippers. Got these as a Christmas gift in 2016, I believe. Or, I don't know. But shout out to my mom for buying me these because I wanted Uggs. I beat these up, wore them every day. I wear my slippers now, so need another pair of Uggs. Next we have 
forget what these are but can't go wrong with the black and white shoe um same reason i have the gatorades is the same reason why i have these we're not going to speak on that so we're not we're just gonna put these away Next, we have the Cement 3s. Are they the Cement 3s? Yeah, the Cement 3s. Um, when I first got these, I wore them. And then just stopped liking them. I mean, it's just a basic shoe. Almost all Jordans have red in them. And I don't really like red anymore because all my shoes have red basically so that's why i try to get different color shoes too then i have these and i got these when i got the infrareds and the hot punches the hot punch fours whatever they're called um if you know blue is my favorite color so that's probably why i got these you know can't go wrong with white and blue shoes once again you know the first pair was baby blue and this is like a darker blue but I don't really like 10s. They just, I just don't know. Don't really like 10s. Next we have, I think these are the Carolina 9 Lows. Recently just got these two. And this might just be my favorite 9s of all time. It always has been. I just never got my hands on them. But I just like how they are. Like I said, can't go wrong with blue shoes. Since it's your favorite color. Next, we have the Seahawk Sixes. Um, don't know why I got these. Got these when I got all the other pairs, too. I probably won't wear these. But, I mean, if you like the Seahawks, you can have these. I don't want them. I just don't like how pink is, like, the pink is on it. Like, where does the pink come from? I don't know. I mean, it is on the bottom of the shoe. Next, we have the Sport Blue 3s. When these first came out, I wanted them. And then never wanted them again because I got these. And then the plug gave them to me. So, can't go wrong when you get them for a good price. So, that's how they got my collection. And next, we have my babies. We have the Bread 11s. These were my one of my favorite shoes and they still are. Only worn like three times. Probably won't ever wear them again. Unless it's a special occasion. I fight hard for I fought hard for these. Like, I don't know. I put myself in a raffle, didn't win. But I had to pay extra for them. And that's the most expensive shoe I paid for. Next, we have, I forget what these are called. I don't know what they are. Universal Blues or something. These shoes I got senior year back to school. Just, I don't know why. Once again, blue is my favorite color. But this material, once again, it got damaged. So I don't really wear these anymore. But they will be in my collection once I clean them. I will wear them. Um... Next, we have the Gamma Blue 11s. I don't know where I put the Legend Blue 11s, but these are one shoe that I would never get rid of. I got rid of them before because they were beat, but now that I'm older, I know how to take care of my shoes. So I'm not going to damage my shoes anymore because I regret getting rid of them. But now I got them back, so yeah. next shoe are the wolf gray threes um story about wolf gray threes are got my first paycheck and was with my grandma and i wanted to go start my shoe collection and this is the first pair that i got they were sitting on shelves i think a day after they released and my grandma yelled at me for trying to get sneakers 
and I still bought them because she said do whatever you want with your money and I got rid of them because they were beat and then I finally got them back so now that since they're the first pair of shoes that I got to start my collection I will not be getting rid of these probably won't wear them that's the story on wolf grade threes I mean these aren't the first ones but the wolf grade threes are next we have once again uh, the are they the board out third I mean, four dot twelves, something. Um, my girlfriend we were shopping and we saw them, and we both got a pair, and then her kids got a pair. So now we got family matching shoes. That's the story on these shoes. But I mean, I like them. Same with my olive green. Yeah. Burgundy are probably one of my favorite shoes. Color shoes. Got the rainbow checkered vans got them from pride just to match my girlfriend don't know why i got them they're sitting in the box one one time and next are the red old school classic vans i guess i used to wear these all the time now i don't i don't know why i guess because i have too much red shoes and next I have my ex slipper. Shout out to my girlfriend. She bought them for me for Christmas. And sadly, it's not about to be winter, so I can't wear them. But I probably will. Next pair of shoes are... my high top red vans one one time recently just got these and the shoelaces are dying with the, the red tongue but I mean it pops out so it looks good but I don't know why I got these like I said I just have lots of red shoes I guess I really don't but I mean I have red shoes last pair of shoes are my babies recently just got these and I was so hyped. The first pair of Yeezys. I always wanted a pair of Yeezys, but never was I praying that price. And I got these for a steal. So yeah, I bought them. I was kind of scared that they were going to be fake, but I did my research and they're legit and now I would not take them off my feet like that's just I don't know they're just real comfortable so I might just stop buying Jordans because I have a lot and just save my money to get more Yeezys we will never know what I will do and then the fact that it came with this keychain it just melts my heart but I need one for Jordan now and that is the end of my sneaker collection video I hope you guys enjoyed Please go like, comment, and subscribe. Please comment what you would like to see next. But I hope you enjoyed. And please watch out for the next video. Goodbye.